What's up, guys? Welcome to another Talking Bull podcast. I'm Anthony. This is Nick. We're here to bring you their weekly nerd news rundown, as well as our main topic for the week. This week, we're going to be talking Justice League, our reactions, our review, why the hell everyone hates this movie, and we don't. But we will get to that later. First, we will start off with our abridged section of the news because it is short. So to start off with, we have um, an update on the story of um, Lord of the Rings and Amazon. It's now committed to a multi-season uh, show. So we'll see what that is when we get to it. I Seems like it's going it. to be a prequel slash thing. Movies. Yeah, I don't. I saw that. something more that it it's set before the movie. Yeah, which I thought the Hobbit was set before the movies. There's a like window it's like or uh, is this before even the Hobbit? no it's a window after hobbit and rings before. it's like um episode five or six and episode three or whatever the hell, whatever the hell that worked yeah that's i think there was right six and three <laughs> yeah if you look at the way they aired yeah. them yeah six and three so it's yeah the star wars thing where there's like that window of t- like 20 or something years to play with so but yeah so there's a little bit of news on that um there's going to be there in the works a Hitman series based off the uh, game uh, on Hulu from the creator of John Wick. This will be the third time they attempt to make some sort of franchise other than the game out of it. Um, yeah, the first movie with yeah yeah the first movie with Ophant, and then the second one with um, what's his face there? I can't remember that, that that cool fight scene in the road. Though. I don't even know if I've seen the second movie. No, you saw the second one. You didn't see the first one. Because they're two different franchises, right? There's that one cool scene where he's protecting that girl and they're out in the street. Ah, it doesn't matter. This will probably tank, I think tank I seen too. the one with Timothy Olfland years ago. Oh, yeah? I don't, ah. know, I've, I don't think I ever watched a new one that no. came out. Ah, well, no one did, so it's okay. Uh, they're just... Anything is a movie now, right? Speaking of that, Morbius the Living Vampire is, has a movie in the works at Marvel. Or yep. Sony Marvel, whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, because everything needs a movie and not everything needs a cinematic universe. So, uh, why? Like, Sony is desperate? Whatever they can. Because it's unclear. They, it was never clearly stated how Spider Man works with them and Marvel. Yeah, I assume. I always thought it was like they still own Spider Man, they should be able to use them. Yeah. But, but who knows who, what? Yeah, who, who knows how much dick they had to take to to let Marvel in, right? Yeah. Well, maybe so. next time they should let their shit get hacked. Yeah. <laughs> like, um. But okay, going with X Men and and, and uh, what you just said. Yeah. Did you see that? You saw the thing about Franco, Multiple Man. Yeah. As an X Men spinoff. Yeah, you mentioned that to me the other day, and I'm just like, again, why? Like, yeah, you so barely like, can get your he was core. Meeting, apparently, him and. His brother David, yeah, were meeting producers at Fox who work on uh, thing, the Simon Kinberg, yeah, right. He does all the X Men movies. Yep, they were meeting him to do look at uh, the Hardy Boys. It's that. Yeah, yeah, right? I know. yeah, yeah. And through that, it was also like tossed about he might do multiple, multiple man, man. which we... wasn't even a thing until like those Hardy Boys. Top uh, conversation. Could start. we just talk then, about for a sec if they could get Hardy Boys to work like they did Jump Street? Because I think that'd be really good. <laughs> with those two, yeah, yeah. and their actual brothers. Yeah, kind of funny. But, that, yeah, that would be. I think that would be great. Um, and then just to to help you in your um, disbelief of this movie, Gambit has re- hired a f- production designer. So they, wow, they are wow. designing stuff and building sets. Well, designing and building designing are two, and different are two different things. Buildings, but he, he's a, they have hired Jeff. Doesn't help me. I still don't think they're going to do it. To uh, As the film's production designer. so They could hire me as they're like, I'll draw them a, a building. Like, what do you need production Did for? Did you see this about... Um, so last week we talked about X-Men going to Disney. Yeah. Those talks fell through. Yeah. Stuff. Did you see that they're now talking with... Sony. Yeah, so to get if they have whatever Spider Man's deal is to cross over, and then they would combine their two things. Well, I, no, I think it. I think it's just that Sony want, might buy Fox. Yeah, 
Yeah, so it's not crossover. They would just buy it. Yeah. And then own Fox. Yeah, yeah, that, the, that was the their plan. Yeah. Of, the, of the Fox stuff because the talks with um, like Disney went fell through. Yeah. So. And then Disney will just buy that. <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah, so... Because, like, this year, Sony lost... Uh, their big thing was they lost um, James Bond. Yeah. That was a big thing. That they lost Bond, and then now all the other studios are, like, putting in bids to distribute Bond next year or whatever. Yeah. And speaking so. of um, distributing things, uh, we were talking about, like... Um, I think it was last week we made the joke about Paddington Bear and, like, people trying to, like get the domestic box office yeah. for it when we were at the movies on friday i saw a, po a poster for paddington bear for i think it was january 20th and i'm like how does this movie already have a poster and a release date if there is no studio to have a domestic release for it distributor yeah, yeah i don't i guess they just last minute i mean all they have to do is select whoever wants to put it like all the whoever's doing paddington bear yeah at the last minute, just says, you guys got it distributed. Yeah. Because they're all putting bids in to do it. Yeah. So at the last minute, they just got to say, okay, you guys do it. Yeah. They are putting, like, the jobs are already there. The bids are yeah, already coming in. So the movie's done, apparently. Yeah. So at the last minute, you just got to select someone. But it is a little fucking weird that it's so close. Two months out. like Two months out, and there's no um, thing. But yeah, it was just, um, I saw that about the X-Men. Now Fox is talking to Disney, or not Disney. Fox is talking to Sony. Yeah. To see if they want to buy their film franchise. But how are... Because they would get Fantastic Four, Planet of the Apes, X-Men. Yeah. And all their... It's all their film catalogs, right? Because that's what Fox... Fox is trying to get out of the movie business, right? Yeah. So they're just talking to anyone now who... But, who, like, Sony, from what I understand, is kind of bleeding money everywhere except PlayStation. Mm -hmm. Like, their their TV with the Bravias and their, their movie studio definitely yeah like like they're, yeah. Like their movie. and like they don't have like uh i think it's like speakers and stereos and shit anymore like they're just they're hemorrhaging money so i don't understand how them buying franchises that like okay apes is kind of profitable but apes is kind of done yeah apes like, is kind of done and x-men is like it's it's dying slowly is on um, like the only thing that's profitable really is deadpool deadpool which i was going to talk about because the teaser dropped this week. Yeah, they had a great teaser out this week. Bob that was, Ross yeah. <laughs> inspired. That was great. That was pretty cool. Deadpool, whoever is in charge of their like media and what they Marketing put out is like is that. just yeah. he they know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And I would argue that a good chunk of it might be Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> but um yeah, that um, was that was great. Rampage. We saw the trailer for yeah, that. Yeah, there was a, yeah, there was a trailer for Rampage. That looks good. And uh, that looks good. Yeah, it looked good. Um, we say this I every time, about it. but this might be the first video game movie that is good. <laughs> yeah, I know nothing about Rampage as a video game. Well, so. Rampage is just like that old school arcade where it's like those three guys: the um, the ape, the wolf, wolf and the crocodile, and which I thought was a lizard, but it's a crocodile. Because, it, oh but its name is Izzy, so like whatever. But uh, those three would just like fight and rampage through like a building's yeah. setting and just knock it down and fight each other. Mm -hmm. That was like the whole. That was it. So there was no human element, like rocks. I think like a scientist like did it, but other than that, no. It was just like an old school arcade beat 'em up. That. But they the put trailer looks cool. Yeah, and it's got the rock. So yeah. like he's you know. Um. What else do I got? I got. I don't know if you had this, but uh, an animated Super Mario Brothers movies. In that's the, the article i meant to grab yeah uh with the studio yeah the guy that recently brought audiences despicable me 3 and are currently working on minions 2 yeah so like revealed that they're also developing lately super they're Mario film yeah animated super Mario film. Could, could work animated, it could work yeah, yeah. live action you will never work for never, never it, it work. will never work Woo. but animated what and animated? that's yeah their art style are very similar like mm -hmm. if you look at Odyssey and you look at um, Despicable and Minions, they're yeah, they're very, very close. Similar, uh, art so style, so yeah, my only different. thing would be like, so is Mario gonna talk? Because Mario doesn't really talk. He's like most he, of he'll one hundred percent have a voice. Yeah, He's not just... gonna have a character running around for ninety minutes and not say anything. That's just weird. That man. would be as uncomfortable as the fucking scene in the movie was, where it was like where I was getting nervous for those ninety seconds. 
that they weren't talking underwater. Right? <laughs> yeah. What happened was like they would get hit. Yeah. And you hear that gurgle effect yeah. from the fucking water, you know? And I was like, why? It was minute. a like, great what's gurgle what's effect. happening here? But we'll talk about that later. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like there's no way that for a 90 minute movie, he's not going to say anything. That being said, they got to get the guy who actually does voice Mario. You realize we're recording now, right? That's the <laughs> just that, find some that little button means it's going. <laughs> just find some plumber. But Mario's not a plumber. One, no, I don't give a fuck what they said. A few months Nintendo? Ago. Yeah, Nintendo can go fuck themselves. So. That's like the guy that came out and said it's not GIF or it's, it's not GIF. Oh, the guy GIF. who made it? Yeah. 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 No, it's yeah. GIF. Yeah, it's I don't give GIF, a fuck man. What you think. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. the internet has spoken. Yeah, You're wrong. Exactly. <laughs> the internet's spoken, and you're about 15 years too late to correct us. So it's, uh, by all means, it's fucking GIF, not GIF. You heard so it, you heard it here, not first. Same with Nintendo. Uh, he's a fucking plumber. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what you tell me. So um, we'll see if that's got, any good. They got a writer for terminator the sequel yeah i saw that and i i, I skipped it because i'm like i don't yeah, they just got, got put the movie out, out. The guy that did hunger games give me know. a trailer at some point and put a movie out uh did you watch this um gotham by gaslight do you watch the trailer no i haven't watched the trailer yet when it comes to animated stuff i tend to either forget the trailer exists mm -hmm. or i'll watch it randomly just one day or i'll just watch the movie when it comes i watched out. it like a uh, day maybe two days after it came out yeah i was gonna watch um, it but i'm like i was ah, curious about this one like what it was like yeah it's not like the other ones that are set within like the same anime universe and all that stuff um it looked pretty cool like it i mean it's it's gonna be it, good. it could anime. be bad and still be better than the one they just put out <laughs> Yeah, that's that's my review of this movie. Um, well, it's not that. Yeah. Um, that being said, like him fighting Jack the Ripper. Yeah, it's is cool. cool. And my last uh, story for the day is they moved Wonder Woman up, which we knew they were going to do. Yeah, we knew that. They moved it up to November 1st. Yeah. Because they, it was set to come apart. It was set to open a week ahead of Star Wars now. Yeah. Once Star Wars shuffled their shit around. So then... They moved it up six weeks, so now it'll have like an eight week run before. You need um, like you need that. Like there's a lot of people talking right now before with, um, uh, Star Wars with with Justice League and trying to get its financials back to where they want it. Mm -hmm. um, it's got Coco next week, which it should beat. I don't think it will. And then no, it no. and then like Star Wars is coming up like super quick. Weeks, yeah. yeah, so it's got to like just hit bank before Star Wars comes out because Star it, Wars will I, destroy. I, I, I think it will beat Coco. I don't no, haven't I heard don't a lot. Yeah, I don't. I don't see it being Coco now. Knowing, seeing what we've seen this weekend, because if you take, if, the if you just take forty percent dip that all of these movies have been of, doing, of ninety. Yeah, you're at thirty. This Coco will do more than thirty million in the weekend. It might. It will. You think so? Yeah. I think it might hit like forty. Yeah, so like it will do that. So League like, would have to hit like forty-two. I think it which could I hit. I don't think it would hit. I think it might be able to if the word of mouth that other people are providing is positive, as opposed to most yeah. of what we've seen. I see it doing second next weekend, and then just fall. The overall the negative I've seen for Justice League is higher than the positive, but just slightly. Mm -hmm. But again, I th like we were talking earlier. I think it's the vocal minority of people who are mm -hmm. saying it's bad. But who knows? We'll, we'll get to that. Um, I have. <sighs> Two star. I have two stories. One's a real quick one. It's that uh, due to uh, Vivendi's financials, um, they won't try to take over Ubisoft in the la in the next six months. Um, that's been the ongoing trend of like them trying to buy out Ubisoft and Ubisoft or Ubisoft's like, no, we don't want you to buy us. We want to remain independent um, because their financials were so low, and Ubisoft just fucking crushed it this year with um, Mario plus Rabbits. Wildlands, Recon, and uh, Star Wars, or South Park, um, which was fifth overall for the month of November for sales. Um, they just did fantastically financially, so they were worried that the takeover bid would fail. So good for them. And then the, the big thing kind of this week again, the last few weeks I think we've talked about this, is the microtransactions mm -hmm. in Star Wars Battlefront. They handle this so badly that on 
Tuesday, some report came out and it was like, this is how many hours it's going to take. This is how much money it would take for you to do it, which way you were going to do it. Yeah. And they were, it was fucking massively long. And then, uh, like the grind. Yeah. The grind you would have to do or the money you would have to spend. They're both really bad. Yeah. Yeah. And then, so, um, they went on to Reddit, put out like a statement, one of their things, uh, one of their social editors or whatever. Mm -hmm. It was the most downloaded comment in Reddit history by like 75%. (laughs) So people were not happy. They did another AMA and people were just pissed. So Thursday, a day before the game was supposed to come out, they put out a statement saying basically like, we heard you, we understand, while trying to make a game that you could like essentially grind and feel rewarded, we fucked up, we're sorry, we're turning off all in-game crystal purchases for the inevitable future right now until we figure out how to do it properly, we're sorry. This is overshadowed an otherwise great game. And the internet was like, cool, thanks. Um, you should have did that to begin so, with. So, okay, explain this to me. Break this down. So okay. they shut off microtransactions. Yeah. That's what you're telling Yeah, me. you cannot buy stuff to get an advantage that, say, the person grinding would be. Because they did adjust those uh, numbers. The, the higher numbers. The grinding numbers. They brought it down. It was like 70, I think, or 50, and they brought it down to like 15,000. Hours? Or no, no, like... Um, crystals or whatever to unlock okay like luke and vader they were all okay like so really go, hard so go with me on this let's okay let's break it down. down so in the pa- before thursday yeah you would have to have fifteen thousand crystals 50 50 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, yeah. 50 crystals to unlock some bullshit yeah one guy one guy and to get fifty thousand crystals would take you like a crazy amount of time yeah or a crazy amount of actual real money yeah right so what they did was they lowered it to 15. Yeah, 15 for the highest guys now. 15. Yeah. And but you're you're saying they shut off the micros, so you can't buy that 15, you just have to grind and get it. Yeah. And it's it's slightly easier to grind for 15 than it is 50. 50. So now you just got to play the game. Yeah. Earn the crystals in the game. Yeah. Save them up and you only have to say 15. To buy the higher to buy card. the higher guys. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, because before that it was basically pay to win. If you had the money to drop all that, mm-hmm. you would. Yeah. And people are like, "Well, what the fuck?" Mm-hmm. So. So now they got rid of that. So everyone just has to grind. Yeah. There is no more. You cannot buy these crystals with real money. For right now, until they figure out how they want to adjust the pricing or whatever the fuck they're going to do. And then it came out. There was a report later on Friday that apparently it was Disney that was like, what's going on over there, guys? Uh, We're really concerned about the amount of backlash our massive property is having towards it. Mm -hmm. Like, fix it, basically. Mm -hmm. So their response was, yeah, we'll turn it all off the day before the fucking game came out. Mm -hmm. And I guess like the game is reviewing well, regardless of the microtransaction shit. So it's just like, it's another one of those, you guys got greedy, basically. Yeah. And like, I'm just like, I'm so fucking tired of hearing about microtransactions. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, do it right. It's not hard. But uh, yeah, that's that's what I got for news. That was the last big thing for this week was kind of microtransactions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So moving on that. Um, random. We will now move into our topic. When are we at? Oh, that's about what I kind of figured we would do for news. So moving into our topic, we're going to be talking about Justice League. Yep. Came Friday. Off, came on Friday. We went and saw it. Um, so do you want to just talk about it or do you want to go full spoilers, give people like a little review and then just spoil the shit out of it or just spoil it from the get-go? I'm going to spoil it from the get-go because I don't want to pay attention to what I'm saying. Fair enough. So, so spoilers, spoilers from this from point, this point, point out. If you have not like, seen the movie, do not watch this. Do not watch this part. Yeah. Um... I thought it was great. I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. I would go right away 8 out of 10. Fantastic. 100%. There's a few little negative things, nitpicky things, really. Small Um, things that, like, I don't think destroy the movie. No, it doesn't take you away from it at all. It doesn't take you away. It doesn't destroy the movie. We've seen it with, me and you saw it, with three other people that don't read or watch comics or study anything. And, like, they enjoyed it. They enjoyed it. They fucking loved it. And 
they didn't question any of the things that we knew to look for yeah. regarding like Henry's mouth looking off. Zach and Zach's Zach and editing Weed. and Zach and directing. Like, yeah. They have no idea. They, yeah. they, they watched a movie that said directed by Zach Snyder. That's all they know. Like, so that's what it says. Before we get right? too far into this, I just want to say if you just enjoy watching a decent movie, a good movie, you will enjoy this movie. Yeah. If you are a giant mega nerd who will try to spot every little difference from TV spots and movies and whether or not he has a beard and shitty CGI to Zach and Whedon's editing styles and directing styles and jokes, you will easily be able to nitpick this movie. But if you just enjoy a good movie, go see it. Yeah. You'll enjoy it. It's an, it you, and it's, you don't have to see anything else before that. You don't have no, to see Wonder they, Woman, they Batman v well Superman, or Suicide Squad. You don't need to watch these other movies. You Going into it, you... You meet Flash and Aquaman and Cyborg. You don't need to know any of the six they, heroes going into this movie. Yeah, you can just like go they, see it. They give you enough of them that information about them that you don't need any more. Yeah. Cyborg is primarily much like the 52 version when he was, re, you know. Yeah. His his origin is very much this movie because yeah. he has to, he's tied to the mother boxes. He's the one that's figuring out with you as you're watching it what these boxes yeah. do and, and how they and work. And Flash, back. there's a line in it from Cyborg like, oh, you got hit by lightning? He was like, kind of basically, yeah. yeah. Like, that's it. Wonder Woman, they talk about why she can't go back. Yeah. And uh, Aquaman, they explain his deal and they kind of explain Batman v Superman in like three seconds Yeah. in the movie mm -hmm. when they're trying to bring him back or whatever. And it's just like, yeah, you will you will enjoy this movie. Is there villain week? Of course he is. It's yeah, that shitty generic to, villain. You don't want him to fucking succeed. Like, yeah, I don't, don't... Like, I don't understand what people's beef is with the villain being generic. Or he's yeah. like, oh, he's just two-dimensional. He wants to conquer the world. Don't they all? Yeah, isn't that like isn't their, that whole like their whole shtick? fucking... I can think of 18 other movies where the villain just wants to conquer the world. Like, or destroy yeah. the, the planet and whatever. It's like, okay. But... So, I don't know basically, it, his whole shtick is he needs these three mother boxes to put them together to terraform the earth into apocalypse and he failed the first time he did this because he there was a team of basically every atlantean every themiscaran uh a green lantern and the tribes of man mm -hmm. i love that men just end up being tribes and shit like yeah, this it's back yeah tribes of man and they all teamed up to fight stefan wolf and his pair of demons and they won mm -hmm. so he's been exiled to wherever the fuck he was yeah. <laughs> they never kind of they just kind of stated he left yeah um and then i guess because of batman superman dying they now are going to try again mm -hmm. because superman's been on earth so we're like hey we don't want to try with the control being there because he can kick our ass mm -hmm. so superman dies and basically the parademons are kind of scouting out earth to see what's there mm -hmm. They're like, okay, we can start doing this. He goes and takes the first mother box from Themyscira and swiftly kicks the shit out of the Themyscarians. Yeah. Like just, and that scene was awesome. Yeah, that scene was really cool. My only beef with that scene was that she was like, close the doors. And I'm like, wait till you're kind of farther. Because <laughs> like those two, they did. They, they didn't make it out. No, yeah. <laughs> no. They cut it and they're just like, we're holding it up. And I'm like, oh, they're not going to make it. Yeah. And she does this badass thing where she just like slides out. Mm -hmm. It was really cool seeing all the Amazonians work together and knowing they were going to die, basically. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, they do. And he gets the mother box and succeeds. And they're like, oh, shit. And then they're like, light the fire. And they're like, they won't know what it means. And um, Wonder Woman's mom or whatever was mm -hmm. like, yeah, well, we'll she'll do know. it. And we'll, she'll know. She'll know. So they light the fire, and sure enough, she's like, "Well, we're fucked." Yeah, <laughs> Basically, was the general talks to Bruce. Yeah. I like that scene where she goes, she goes and talks to Bruce, and Bruce, and he's working on the the fox thing. That yeah, I'm, yeah, the transport, the transporter, and then she tells him like the history lesson, and then it cuts to that scene where they're over by the lake. Yeah, they're still talking about it and stuff like that. that was because he's scene. been trying to do get the league together, but he's just utterly failing. No one, no one wants to do it. Yeah. Either. He, he goes and meets with Aquaman, and who is just fucking phenomenal in mm -hmm. this movie. He is that, like, surfer bro, but, like, hardened. Yeah. I would best describe him. And not annoying surfer no. bro. Like, but it was it's just great to see him. And then, uh, so they meet, and then he goes and talks to Flash, who is basically like, I'm in. <laughs> Doesn't yeah, even right finish away. the sentence uh, Flash was in. Um, oh, man, it's just such a good movie. 
I thought it was. I, thought I don't it was understand a great why movie. people hate it. It flowed. Just, it worked. It worked. The jokes worked. I liked it. Most of the CGI was pretty good. Yeah, there was nothing um, about it. No, there was like a few small things that just kind of like nitpicked me. Yeah. That aren't even worth mentioning like to anyone because it's just like you wouldn't understand it. Like there's the scene where... Um, we talked about earlier where Lois comes to after they resurrect Clark. Yeah. And she calls, she says his name in front of like, there's like a group of people and some yeah. police officers there. She calls him Clark, Clark instead of Superman. Instead of like Superman or, or even nothing. Yeah. Just, all I would have preferred is if, even if she didn't say anything, but just yeah. like ran into his arms and then said it. Yeah. Where only he can hear you. So she's like screams at like three, four times standing next to the cops. Yeah. And I'm like that's come on. Like that's just like, no one else is like, nope. You got all those people on set. You got all the people behind the camera during that filming of that scene. <laughs> and no one knew this and was a bad idea. nobody was like, maybe she shouldn't fucking say that right yeah. there. So, like, that's just small things like that is like, yeah. it, just, it seems kind of lazy. Like, no one preemptively was like, that's probably, you know what? How about we just have her run into his arms? And, like, when she's looking at eye to eye to him, like, yeah. she like, Clark, you you got to focus. You got to get me out of here. Let's, let's leave. Let's go. Yeah. And then he flies away with her. Right? Pretty much. Like, and then that would have worked. It would have yeah. been like, oh, perfect. She got him. She calmed him down. He recognized her. He knew he had to leave because he was going to, he was going mad. Like, yeah. you know, like, and then the cops would have heard her scream Clark five times. <laughs> right? Like, it's just very small things it's like that. It's just nitpicky like, stuff. Yeah. But like, I don't think that like, I'm not like, I don't it see that It doesn't deter scene. you from the movie. I don't see that scene and then be like, oh, one out of 10. Yeah. Like, because she said Clark. But yeah. no, no. No. Like, no. So to set this up. The uh, mother boxes are all with the ancient races or whatever. And because humans are stupid, um, Silas, uh, Victor's dad, Cyborg, decides to save his son by fusing him with technology because he thinks that's a great idea and make Cyborg. Who, Even though he already made the fucking Terminator. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think he'd learn the first time with robots. But uh, so he, he fuses him. Cyborg's now a basically walking internet Siri. Um, who he can't control. So he, they have the other mother box. And then the other one is with the Atlanteans and the pair of demons and Stephen Wolf start attacking, uh, Atlantis or at least, uh, Aj Atlantis adjacent. Cause we see one building <laughs> where the thing is, I think they didn't want to spoil Aquaman too much by having a huge, like set so piece. Much what yeah. it looks like. Yeah. So, uh, they show Mira who's badass in this movie. She uses her water powers to start fighting Steppenwolf mm -hmm. and thoroughly gets her ass handed to her. Aquaman also tries to show up and tries to help, but he gets his ass handed to him as well. And then there's that one scene where we're just like, they're going to talk. This is it. We get to see how they're going to talk underwater mm -hmm. and they cop out. <laughs> yeah, they cop out in a way where like Miro creates this like air bubble up around her and, and Arthur and they talk within that. But, and like, again, like, some like average movie goer doesn't know they're making an awkward movie. Yeah, doesn't understand. And, again, and doesn't, doesn't understand yeah. the physics of what's of what just happened. But here's what just happened. Yeah, Mira can control water. Yeah, she can bend it. She can shape it. So she can create that. She bubble. can avatar it. But not all of them. Not all Atlanteans can. No, so only I think that three. That still doesn't answer the question of how do they how talk do they underwater? Fucking talk yeah. underwater for two hours next year in yeah. december when we watch aquaman but it does set up his overall thing in his movie of them not kind of knowing each other and him yeah, not like being in Atlanta. each other they've met yeah like part of aquaman goes before this and yeah. then the other part goes after it right yeah. so like they have met they've talked about it he knows that he's supposed to be king and he just doesn't give a fuck they do set up but not overwhelming the story that's happening it doesn't on take hand. yeah you don't you don't you, you don't see that scene and then be like well i want to know more about that because yeah. like what where they that's just, ultimately where lines. batman v superman fails yeah is there's so, so many story at the forefront story. there's no subtlety yeah whereas like there's subtlety the subtle, yeah like you, you get a couple lines of dialogue where he knows he's supposed to be king he understands that his mother is is dead and that she, you know he's the rightful heir and he's, he's just so angry at he's them like, he's like Fuck you guys, you guys. Fucked me over you guys your mom my mom left me on the doorstep on earth you know and, yeah and then he moves on and whatever right but it doesn't like distract you from the core movie you just no. hear those lines you understand why he is the way he is and then he goes back to justice league or whatever right yeah 
But it doesn't answer the fucking question of how, how they, do they talk, talk under the water. movie. Doesn't deter, underwater. but at the same time, we're like, we're giant nerds and we kind of want to know. Yeah, because I was watching <laughs> that scene, going back to what I said like 10 minutes ago. I was yeah. watching that scene and they're fighting. And when like he hit him, you heard that gurgling sound. Yeah. Little, right? And I was like, oh. I, I liked like, it when you better the first time. That's fucking <laughs> that's weird. Funnier. I'm like, that was fucking odd. Like, yeah. That doesn't like. Answer our questions of so what it's going to be. So, what, is he going to talk underwater, but it's going to be all gurgled? Like, I don't oh, yeah. want to hear that for two hours. Like, he's fucking using mouthwash? Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't want to hear that for two hours. And then we see no. that scene where they create the bubble. I'm like, okay, that that worked for this. But how, that doesn't fucking answer the question. Yeah. So, they, they, they fail there. So, now he has two. And then he starts kidnapping everyone. He kidnaps the uh, head of Star Labs, uh, Harrison Wells. Um, he fucking doesn't. That's a joke on the internet because people are stupid. Silas is the head of Star Labs. Uh, so they they take the league that they have now, which is Batman, Wonder Woman, uh, Flash. Flash. At this, this is that's it at this point. And um, they go meet Gordon. They go meet Gordon. Oh man, pretty badass. They play the Batman theme. Yeah, they play. And the old it's so Batman good. Theme. Uh, off the fucking gargoyle that yeah seen jk it. simmons as commissioner gordon was just perfect mm -hmm. um yeah so they go there they they have the little meeting and he explains what's going on and then uh they all leave and there's this great bit with the flash and he was like oh they left well that's kind of rude <laughs> then he speeds off um then they go find out where he is and he's in some abandoned thing naturally and they fight the parademons and Stephen Wolf and rightfully just get their ass handed to them. Mm -hmm. And it's a great scene to demonstrate of why they need Superman later on. Mm -hmm. Cause they just get their ass thoroughly whooped even yeah. with wonder woman. Yeah. Um, there's that great scene where like she drops her sword and she's trying to get it and flash mm -hmm. like does the quick silver yeah. <laughs> thing and, and like knocks it, it back, knocks up, it back to her. up to her. Awesome scene. Yeah. He trips afterwards. A little taken out of it, but whatever. I like, like, like naivety of yeah. it. Yeah. But, um, but then, like, it, then it ends with, like, Cyborg firing at, like, a cannon or a rocket at Steppenwolf, right? And he catches it. Yeah. And that's when he throws it. He just, like, catches it. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? He just tosses it. Blows a hole in the fucking tunnel. Steppenwolf takes through. off. And you're like, he they're, they're trying to climb up, but they can't fast yeah. enough. And, and then when Aquaman man. appears and holds the water back. Because he's, cool. he's now got his armor and the, the, the trident. And he just well, slams the spear, it. The not spear. the trident. I thought it was a trident. No, the trident has three prongs. That was a huge fucking thing about that he's not holding his proper trident. This had five prongs. It's a fucking trident. Whatever. He slams his trident down. I don't, I'm fucking calling it. It's a Tri goddamn trident. No, tri I don't care. It's a trident. Even I'll just say this though. Even Momoa said it's not his trident because trident is what he would get when he's so king. he's gonna get three now. He one with get, three. and when he's king, he would get his trident, the three prong. So there's two mystical things that control the power of water sitting at Atlantis. Because Aquaman can't control water. No, that's what the trident does. spear does. Yeah. So or there's two. Water. There's two of them. Yeah. There could be. A I hold up three, them. and then I do two. Could be a couple of them. I don't really know. That just seems like Poseidon was an idiot and just made too many of these things. Yeah. You think there'd be one? No. Anyways, so he takes his uh, his uh, staff with a bunch of pointy <laughs> things at the end. He slams it in the ground, throws the water back, holds it back, and they're able to escape. And you're just like, fuck yeah, this team's coming together. And then they're like, we can't do this. We're fucked. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're fucked. They were like, what were we thinking? We, we need Superman. And they're like, well, Superman's dead because your stupid ass killed him. Mm -hmm. That's a cool scene where, like, they're in the... I don't know if they're in the Batcave. Really I think they're back point. in the Batcave, yeah. Because doesn't Barry run around? And yeah. He, yeah, he's, yeah, he's running around yeah, saying how cool the Batcave... Yeah. And he's... Because they never specifically call it the Batcave. I think Barry's the first one to call it that. Yeah, he calls it the Batcave. And he's like, it's there. almost like... It's like a Batcave. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great but, scene. Um, Barry's pretty cool in this when he's not being overly annoying. Overly, yeah. But and, then there's... That's a scene where, like, they discover and Cyborg describes like what the mother boxes do and how yeah. they interact and how he can interact with which them. is weird because i always and thought then, the mother box was the thing that made the boom tube yeah which they never actually call those big swirly those things big, a boom they, tube they didn't call them that i guess they wouldn't know what they are though, yeah that's right? yeah maybe like in future reference they can nick yeah. like, the boom tube again nitpicking it. stuff yeah. if you have no idea but what they, they are what you don't is. know yeah. like and then um so he describes he tells the team like what and how he was brought back to life using the mother box and how it yeah. modifies your genetics and rebuilds damaged tissue. And then and all that Batman stuff. has the great idea of fucking idea of using it to regenerate Kal um, Superman or, or Kal. 
So um, Wonder Woman calls him Kal-El at one point. And um, so they all say it's a bad idea. They all say it's a bad idea. And then they dig up his corpse. And then they ultimately agree to dig up his corpse. So my nitpicking with this is I, I kind of wish that he was just in a tank somewhere. Kind of like Batman, maybe like, yeah, they had both funerals, but like he, he didn't tell Martha that he, he he kept it and like he maybe thought he was kind of alive ish Mm -hmm. and he was just in like a suspended animation tank or something just so it didn't look like they were digging up a corpse. Yeah, they were, they they did, they did great. See, what I would have liked is like if, if Steppenwolf did it, there were a lot of talks at one point that like Steppenwolf was going to like, I've been reading a lot of stuff that that was the subplot of Steppenwolf does bring back Superman and then and then they fight and, and then, then they he, fight and yeah. then they get Lois to like it, it, it kind of ends the same way but it was originally brought on by Steppenwolf which I would have liked a little bit more I don't think I would have because it's just it's that's way too generic this the but way they did it heroes being grave robbers that too but Th- that's where I'm like I'd rather the villain being the dick and yeah the, the, the dead but than it my is heroes doing I it. like the way they did it where they brought him back like the grave robbing thing sucks because it is our hero's yeah. grave robbing, but I'd rather have them try to do it and like still do the thing they did, just have him somewhere else. Yeah, and then like do what they did, and then he fights him. It's like a, it was maybe a ten minute scene. Oh yeah, like it, the, was, it was quick. It would have fundamentally changed the film, I think, if Stephen Wolf did, did it, mm-hmm. and it was just like, why would Stephen Wolf bring back a guy who could essentially turn on him and kill him, especially when he was able to. Um, defeat them five minutes earlier. Yeah, he, I guess. Yeah, you're. You're. It's the whole point right. of this was there's like just, we need super. Yeah, there is that. I'm like I. I agree. Hundred percent with. Yeah. The heroes being. Great but at that but being said, I like it. Move yeah. Forward and they make fun of it, like when Barry and him are. Uh, and, and as they're doing, doing it, it, they all keep saying it's a bad idea. Yeah, and, even while Barry and Cyborg are actually digging the grave. They're like they're they're like is this right? Like we're literally like Barry says he's like I could do this in like eight seconds. Like I'm yeah. taking my time because I'm thinking I don't know if I should be doing this. <laughs> that being said, I like when they lowered him in the water. They just 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 chuck him. Yeah. Like Aquaman puts him down, pushes him down gently. Like he's not a dick about it. But so they do the thing. They bring him back, and he is rightfully out of his mind and a little bit like uh, Lazarus Pith. You yeah, know? Kinda, he's all yeah. crazy at the time. Yeah, it makes happens. sense. Like you come back from the dead, you're like, what the fuck? And then you fight anyone who's in your immediate vicinity. Yeah, because and he, he thoroughly sees, whips he sees these five guys that besides Wonder Woman who he met for like a minute, minute and, and a half. half yeah he sees all the three people who with powers that he doesn't fucking know so and then when they start moving and attacking him and like cyborg can't control the the mother box like because it, it recognizes, recognizes kryptonian, kryptonian, kryptonian as a threat as a threat so yeah it starts to fire at him and so he attacks back awesome fucking scene it's I a mean, great scene and he just whips fucking, the league so like he like he has wonder woman by the throat I think he has one foot like on Cyborg's chest. Yeah. He has his other arm on fucking uh, Aquaman, like holding him back. And that's when Barry steps in running. Because Barry's like, I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. Yeah, yeah. Only thing is like Clark moves pretty much just as fast right so then there's he's that just, scene where he's he just, moves he's just his like head. slowly turning his head and he it's so and he good him, and barry's like all confused because he's like what the fuck he can see me you know so he's he, like, he, and he chucks like, wonder he woman he chucks him he kicks the other he one goes back and he fights barry in like super speed and that, that being said i said to you badass. during the movie i'm glad barry's faster oh yeah barry's faster but superman's a better fighter superman's a better fighter and like Still fast enough that he could still see Barry coming around yeah. him, like he, because like he, he starts throwing punches at him, and Barry's dodging them, but like two seconds ish. Yeah, and I, I was so glad for that when they did it because there's always that thing of like, is Superman faster than Batman? Well, no. The Flash's thing is he's the fastest man yeah, alive. So he is. Gonna he's be not. Fast. It's not like the fastest man alive, but Superman's pretty much the same speed. Mm-hmm. Like that's a really bad moniker. Yeah. <laughs> so like him. Being able to dodge Superman, but Superman's the better fighter, and Barry's still tripping over his own feet. Yeah. At least in this scene, it's good because there's like rubble and shit mm-hmm. everywhere. But I, I, I really dig that attention to detail for the movie. Yeah, and I really and that was it. an awesome scene where he just turns his head and then like yeah. look on Barry's face because he could see him. And, and, he knows and you're wondering, like, we haven't mentioned Batman at this point because, because they, they told, told him to stay away. Not- 
fucking calm. So and then, then, like, after that, he kind of has to swoop in. And then that's when he, Clark just, like, sees him. Grabs him, him by grabs the him fucking by the neck, throat. carries him and up. He's like, he starts to him choking him out. He's like, I know you. Yeah. He's like, I remember you. And then he's talking to him. And then he says the line, like, do you bleed? Yeah. <laughs> Which but, was badass. Yeah. <laughs> and then he's, he's basically going to kill Batman. Lois shows up, does, he's like, because that, that was, was Batman's secret that was, that was the big gun he said to go get. And I was like, okay, cool. So she does her whole spiel. It works. Like we've and said, then, she talks But he where. just, he like, he's just got Batman by the throat. Chucks. He just chucks him. Not even like fully like, I'm going to kill you, chucking you. He's just like, I have no use he's for you. Like, Goodbye. Goodbye. And chucks then, him probably like 80 feet. Yeah. And then, like, Clark and uh, Lois have their moment where she's telling him, like, But even before that, there's that great bit with Batman, and he's on the ground. He's like... That's after. I, that's we said after? after? I thought that scene was, like... It was right after. He like, flew like, away, and then they cut to Batman. Yeah, yeah. And so then like, he's like, something's definitely bleeding. <laughs> yeah, he's like, something's, something's bleeding. <laughs> and then... Uh, Batman's making jokes. To, the internet's um, mad. Lois and Clark. <laughs> yeah, and then it goes to uh, when they were at like this part's weird like are they at the like his house like where's where's this shit with the armor stuff that they filmed a lot of scenes in? i'm assuming it's the cave that's in the cave yeah too? it's a it's a more extended thing of the cave okay so they're in that spot and yeah they're talking about well, the fact that they just got their ass beat by superman yeah and then um that man's got like his shoulders fucking dislocated. His shoulders all dislocated his back is all bruised and <laughs> beaten and um they talk about uh, trying to find the mother boxes in Russia. That's where Cyborg yeah. has to do his shit. Aquaman yells at him because he thinks he's a traitor. Yeah. Very just complaining because he's hungry. <laughs> and then like him and ba Batman and Wonder Woman go off. They have this great scene where they talk and they they are both like, we're both hiding, blah, blah, blah. We mm -hmm. need to step out. And that's kind of what this whole movie was, is like stepping out of the darkness, basically. Mm -hmm. And it's a really good scene. They figure it out. And then Superman... Superman. Batman kind of just comes to the conclusion like we need to work together better mm -hmm. and then he goes out and he was like you find that and do this Barry go upstairs there's food uh, Alfred will do it for you <laughs> yeah, Alfred will get you food and then, yeah. stop complaining so they figure out where they are and everything's awesome yeah they need to be in uh, they end up in like a Chernobyl type of thing where yeah. there's no Wi-Fi no satellite connections no where he's doing the converting yeah uh, starting the conversion and um they decide to go and attack him there. Yeah. Clark is at the farm with Lois doing his shit, fucking calming down, remembering Trying stuff. Trying to remember who he is, basically. And he sees his mom, and she comes and talks to him, which is cool. And um, and that's when Lois tells him, like, okay, now you, now that you're, you're good, you, you have to go. You have to leave. You yeah. have to help him. So they're back in Russia or whatever, they're, they're fighting. They're getting their ass beat. Batman's... Uh, big fucking uh, ideas to lure all the parademons after him, which and, was so cool. Which is so cool, but yeah. like so fucking Because his plan dumb, is basically like, to sacrifice yeah. himself, and He's everyone like, else go attack Steppenwolf. And you guys go and fight Steppenwolf, and Cyborg can dismantle the the mother boxes. So once they realize like that's his plan, they're like, well, we can't let him do that. No. So they go after him and take on some of the parademons. It's just great scene. work of them teaming up together yeah. and just, yeah, it's just a montage of uh, them fighting. You get the fucking Aquaman on the Batmobile and yeah. all that stuff. And uh, Cyborg catches him at one yeah. point when he's falling. He's like, hey, we're not done yet. And he's, yeah. he uh, spears Barry's another one with his stick with the prawns at the end of it. And then that's when like that family that you we've, they kind of have a focus on it throughout the movie. God. Is trying to leave. Yeah. And Barry realizes that however this thing is spreading, they're going to end up getting trapped. I think that was Batman who said Batman they're not fat. It, yeah. but So he tells Barry, like, go and make sure they get out. Like, yeah. clear the path or whatever. And then, like, so they're all fighting inside, like, the fucking tunnel. The tube. The, yeah. The, the, the whatever that reactor, reactor thing. thing. Yeah. Right? And that's when... Uh, so I heard about... The line that he first says, which is something about, I like truth and I've always loved justice. Yeah. Like that. Whatever the line is. And I was like, a lot of people were like bitching about the line. Like, I thought that line really was corny. great. It sounds corny. And when you read it though, when I read it two weeks ago, corny as fuck. Of course Harry it Cavill is. Harry Cavill say it though, behind like you off camera, yeah. like, you, you behind his back. 
And then when he turns around, you see him for the first time fucking suited up. That bright the suit. The bright suit, a little smile on his face. He's like ready to kick some ass and he just fucking beats the <laughs> shit out of Stephen Wolf. And then um, he, he has an interaction with Aquaman, I think. Then he talks to Cyborg. Then he meets Batman. And Batman's like, that's when they have their thing about like, well, I need you to come back to fight him or whatever yeah. and that's when soup's like well i didn't think you brought me back because you liked me yeah and he's like well i don't i don't not like yeah that, you. that was great <laughs> batman was like well i, I don't not, not like, like you, you. <laughs> and then um but then that's when you hear people like superman hears people cre- screaming, screaming and, and he just takes off yeah and he's like i gotta go and then barry like batman tells him like no barry has it he's like there's too many yeah too many civilians so he books it and then that's the fucking scene yeah. barry pushes barry out the car and he's all like yay four people and he looks over to his right he pushes them like miles away or something yeah, yeah. right he looks over to his right <laughs> fucking superman's carrying a goddamn apartment building <laughs> full of people full of people so good so good <laughs> and he's like well i, I can't do that no <laughs> but so, they got everyone out which is yeah cool. so they go back they uh they beat the shit out of stefan wolf some more they mm. he uses his freeze breath to uh freeze his giant fucking uh axe, axe. which and is then, cool because that's the first time we've seen it we've never seen freeze breath no in these movies. and then like he um uh, and wonder woman smashes it with their sword and then like he's just kind of getting his ass kicked and then they were just kind of like hey do you hear that and it's all the parrot demons and they're like oh shit they turn on him and then they, yeah afraid. and they're like no it's cool they smell fear in here because yeah. he's afraid because these five guys are whooping his ass yeah. and then it's kind of unclear what happens. Like, does he open the boom tube? Does like Apocalypse call him back? Like, it's kind of a little unclear what I'd have happens to see there. It again, like yeah, because he because it goes up there and yeah. then he goes up and then the boom tube closes. So mm-hmm. like, did he get called back? Did yeah, he die? it's a Probably little unclear. Just called back. Um, you know. and but, then uh, they go back to the thing and he's like, I need your help. He's like, pull these apart while I'm when you see your opening. You got like half a second. Mm-hmm. And then it opens, and I was like, he's got more than half a second. It looked like a good minute and a half, but okay. So <laughs> there's this line, he's like, this is probably going to hurt. He's like, am I going to die? And he was like, no. No. He's like, good, because I just came back. It's yeah. going to hurt a lot. So he, he pulls him apart, whatever. Cyborg, there's this apart. giant explosion, and you just see them fly back, and then they're, they're just both lying there, and Cyborg's like, like it hurts my toes. He's like, like I don't even have he's toes. Like, he's like, he's like I don't even understand fucking, logistics. And Superman's like, I wish I was dead. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was dead. And then you got Wonder Woman at the like she's looking up, listening to this, and she's like, I work with children. Yeah. Because <laughs> they just start laughing because that's when Cyborg says the thing about yeah. oh, it's my toes. <laughs> I don't even have toes. <laughs> and then it just kind of there's a shot of them all just on the uh, building mm-hmm. and. And Cyborg does his booyah at one point, which yeah. is kind of cool. And then uh, Flash finally gets his fist bump from mm-hmm. uh, Cyborg. But you just see that really cool shot, shot of, of all of them, them with standing the, with there. The, like yeah. the gold fucking sun behind them. Yeah. And, stuff. yeah, and then awesome the movie kind of just closes out and sets up their respective franchises. But for once in fucking all of this DCU bullshit, there's hope and it's happy and it's light. And yeah. you're just and like, it, because it, thank it, it God. Just, it builds on the idea that... Although it took the three movies, and although we'll never fully 100% know where was it going, what was it doing. Nor do I want to. Nor I do, do not I care. care. But over the three movies, we got the growth of Superman, who is now Superman. My yeah. argument to that would be they should have just went with Hope. Yeah, it probably should have. But uh, whatever, but whatever, whatever they did it, how they did it, <laughs> they did it, they did it differently. That's all I'll say. They did it differently. Most origin stories... You would have had this whole thing in like eight minutes, and he would just would have been hopeful in eight minutes, and then yeah. in the beacon and all that stuff. This one they dragged it out, possibly a little too long. Got a little dark there for a while. Thought he even thought about killing Batman himself at one point. Yep. Whatever. It got there. He's Superman. He knows what he's supposed to do. He he wants to do it now. Where in the other movies he was unsure about it. It was always that question like, why am I doing this? What should I be doing? government's told me not to do this this person's telling me not to do, you know there's all that bullshit so a lot of self is like fuck i'm gonna do i'm this gonna be I the hero to do yeah. this so he does it he is the hero it's awesome we get the fucking shirt rip for the first time great scene there's a scene of uh alfred and i believe wonder woman and batman are all in that scene they 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 get the hall of justice yeah we don't see an exterior shot but it, we that, know that it exists like, that looked like it was um i thought it was wayne manor yeah, it, but, it looks like the one. No, it looks like the shot, the one building from uh, that was in B- BVS. 
that he goes into um him and Alfred are having a, a scene in that building. I thought that was Wayne Manor though that's a building yeah I think it is I could have swore this one was a completely opposite building I think it's the old crooked down Wayne Manor that, uh-huh. like it because this one looked decrepit as fuck too like, so maybe they're turning the old Wayne Manor into Justice League headquarters yeah something because like it very that. much seems like yeah there was like oh there's seven seats at this long table at the round table yeah. and then there's like she's like and there's room, room for, for more. more yeah and yeah they're just like there's more people mm-hmm but uh, it sets up everyone and yeah, so ends they happily. Have that scene and, and then, like, Lois is doing, like, a little voiceover about, like, it's almost like a pa- thing she's writing for the planet. Like, yeah. And normally I hate when she narrates movies, but at this, it was closing off the film and it the fit end. the and tone it worked, very well. And it yeah. Well. And it, you see that Barry got, gets a job at the, as a crime thing. Yeah. Pro- I'm guessing Bruce gave him a recommendation. Yeah, he, he, says, got, yeah, like, he's, friend, he got the recommendation like, from I got Bruce. A, uh, yeah. I got a friend who gave me a recommendation, which I'm assuming was Bruce. And then you see that Bruce buys the bank. So <laughs> his mom, Martha, gets that was the great. Farm back. He was like, how did you get the bank to give the farm back? He's like, I bought the bank. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> it's like the whole bank. <laughs> <laughs> the whole bank. Yeah, whatever. It's like, so, yeah, so he buys the bank change. to give them back the, yeah, gives her back the farm. And then, um, Cyborg gets like a genetic upgrade with his stuff. Yeah, you see him kind of started going it. into the old cyborg look. Yeah, he has the yeah. SC emblem on his chest now. And uh, Aquaman, I don't know what his thing uh, did. He have a like a wrap, wrap up at the end of it. I think it showed what did it show? I it? honestly don't remember I don't what Aquaman did, thing was. About it. I think I thought it showed him going back. Unless it just shows him swimming. I think it just shows I, him swimming and it doesn't like towards... Atlantis. Oh, he's swimming with the whale back towards Atlantis, I think, was the thing. Because he was swimming. Yeah. Yeah, I think it shows him going home. Yeah, it just shows so, him like he jumps in the water. That's what it is. Yeah. I think it shows him walk off a pier, jump in the water, and swims back home. Yeah, so he is setting up his like inevitable return to Atlantis. Yeah. yeah. And then um, Barry gets the job. Cyborg does that. Wonder Woman and Bruce kind of have their thing together with the Hall of Justice. And uh, Superman is walking the streets of Metropolis dressed up in the full Clark gear. Yeah, glasses, starts shirt. running down the thing. He hears something sure going, it, and yeah. then he, he, yeah, he takes off his glasses, rips open his shirt, takes off. And then the movie, I think there's like another 10 seconds, and then it's done. It just ends. It, just it. Wraps it was up a after great, that. great, great ending. Yeah. Uh, so we get to the Avro credit scene, and it's kind of right off one. The while a great, like, while a great funny bit, mm-hmm. it's just them joking about who's faster. Yeah, so and they're both happy and left hearted. And it was a nice little scene, but just completely unnecessary. Yeah. And then we get to the true final, like setting up the next movie mm-hmm. thing. It's like they're trying to get Luthor, who's escaped from prison. And when I think about it, I think the Joker might have helped him because that guy was smiling and laughing mm-hmm. in a weird way. Yeah. So I think the Joker might have helped him escape. So him. we'll yeah. see what yeah. Joker we get with that because I'm thinking maybe the Joker might be on. Mm-hmm. that too yeah um i kind of thought about that afterwards mm-hmm. so he turns around he's laughing blah 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 it's not luthor he's already uh, out he's of out, he's on a boat and a yacht somewhere and then you see just a figure with swords pulling up on a boat and turns out it's deathstroke mm-hmm. he pulls off his helmet looks fucking awesome yeah um and he was like oh the aliens back and now he's got a team or whatever he's like we should have our own team mm-hmm. and then it just kind of ends yeah, it and it's there, but it's cool because setting up doom. the legion of doom or, or the, the injustice, injustice league, league or, or the justice society, whatever the hell they're calling them yeah legion of doom yeah or injustice league whatever one you yeah. want to call them uh, but, setting uh, up that for the next movie i yeah. would be the next justice league i would assume so all in all great out great of 10. yeah man I'm eight out of ten eight. yeah eight out of ten right away um i don't understand the beef i am deeply concerned about the future of these movies right now uh, like we said i'm before, imagining they just just keep going move forward like you have to like we we have aquaman coming out next year and then we you said have based Shazam on wh- starting soon yeah. you know what i'm saying like you, you're gonna you have you have your date for wonder woman 2 that made a we've been up. saying that like the just move forward thing, yeah. and 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 if you take a loss on this because of the the chain that it followed, which was Man of Steel, BVS, and now Justice League, and it, the the and the Squad tainted. just hurting everything. Well, uh, yeah, Squad is horrible. But on but, own, but, but Squad tainted, and it be Superman both hurt this movie. Yeah, the tainted um, uh, DC feeling movie. that happened because of those movies. Take the loss, move forward, and and 
just don't make those same mistakes. The internet outcry for this movie that it's bad is just astronomical. It seems un- it isn't. I don't, I don't it's understand not a bad it. Movie. Like, and like I, they've like, been position, to, posi- like, uh, even petitioning watching, to get Snyder back, like yeah, his so, cut. And no, it's like, no. why would you want that? You want to be confused? Did like, you not see Batman v Superman? Because I know that a lot of these people have. I yeah, don't, and they I don't, love it. Even though, th- you know what? I'll tell you this: ultimate cut, like theatrical cut of Batman v Superman. I think what we gave it like a four. Yeah. Ultimate cut is only like a five. Or I think a six. we gave it a six. You know, it's not. And then much it's better. three and a half hours long. Yeah, it's, it's over three hours long. Yeah, and, and then they're bitching about the runtime of this being two hours. That's still a six, and because <laughs> it still doesn't make sense. Even even with the extra forty five fucking minutes they tack on to that damn thing, yeah, it's still confusing as fuck. Still doesn't make sense. Yeah, I've seen one guy was like, "How do you have a movie be two hours when it has six heroes, a an invasion thing, a blah blah blah?" And I'm like, "This movie was a perfect runtime." Yeah, like, like not once did I feel like it dragged. There was three slowed. minutes of this movie I could cut. Yeah, and it's that fucking intro. Yeah, it was just that focus on that homeless guy saying I tried, mm-hmm. and I'm like, what is that? DC's like hint to us <laughs> that they're like, we're sorry. We tried. <laughs> like, yeah, like it just um, I didn't I, the runtime I thought was perfect. Yeah, it's good. It was made, good. It like I was worried longer. when we when they initially announced it. But yeah. Now that I've seen the movie, I'm like, yeah, perfect. Why would it need to be any longer? That being said, the director's cut for this movie is going to be three hours long. I don't think they're doing one. If they're smart, they won't. Yeah, I don't think they will because you can't do it. You don't need it. And you you can't yeah, you can't do it because this movie like, is as good as it's gonna get with what anymore. everything that happened. Yeah. With with having the two pieces of film together, you couldn't go like you couldn't add more Snyder. This isn't stuff. a Donner cut yeah. situation. Yeah, it's, you couldn't add not. more Snyder stuff and then have the movie still make sense or be the same. You know, like it, you, you're not going to get it. This is the movie. This was his get. movie for the most part. Yeah, from what I've from things I've read, I've read some things where like the original cut was again two hours and fifty minutes, and then I've read things where it was like it was two fifteen, so they yeah. cut fifteen minutes. We'll see. So, like I don't know, but we'll, we'll either see or we'll never know. But as it stands. This is go it. see this go movie. Go see this movie. Go see it. It's an awesome time. At the Don't theater. listen to the giant dorks on the internet other than us. Yeah, exactly. Because Just there are a lot, a lot of giant dorks who are saying this movie is good. Mm-hmm. And I don't understand these people who want the Snyder Cut. And I don't understand what you people want from a movie then. Yeah. Like, I, I don't understand it. Because, like, this is, again, a movie where we think it's good. And the collective vocal minority of the internet says it isn't. Mm-hmm. And it's happened with Iron Man 3, it happened with Rises. Dark Knight Rises, <laughs> and it happened with Spider Man, The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Mm-hmm. I don't understand what you people want from a movie. Mm-hmm. I really don't. I don't get it. No. Nope. What are we at? 57. Eh, whatever works for yeah. me. Go see it. It's a great movie. If, even if you know nothing about anything. You don't need to know it ex- anything. Explain, it, it, it's perfect. It's self-contained. Go show DC that we will support a good movie mm-hmm. because this now has the lowest opening of any of the DC movies. The DCEU, yeah. The DCEU universe movies. Yeah. And it's just like, I don't understand why. I mean, I get why, but. I get why. And like, it just like. All the baggage of this movie. The ba- is there was a lot it. of baggage for this movie. And there's just a lot of uh, behind the scenes. Things I, I wish out. we had more of an audience that we could go persuade to see this. Oh, movie. for sure. Because like I, I would tell them in a, a lot of to go see. There's it. a lot of baggage, a lot of uh, PR stuff, a lot of behind the scenes stuff that comes out. Of and then movie. Warner Brothers then not saying fucking, anything about it. And then that we, we've talked about before, like all that people put a lot of stake into hearing what happens during production of a movie. Now, and especially. then when the movie comes out, they're like, "Oh shit, it's fucking garbage." Did I you guarantee you. But then you're like, sixty five percent of this movie has Did not see seen movie? it. Yeah. Oh, uh, no, I never saw it. I read about it for two years that it was garbage while they were making it. But did you did you see the movie? Yeah. No, I never saw it because for two years, that's what I... It's like, well, then how do you know? I'm guilty of this with Batman uh, or Superman Returns. Mm-hmm. But I'm just not that big of a fan yeah. of Superman. So, But it but it just... it that But your thing was afterwards. Like, not you didn't read about production... No, I didn't give a shit. Yeah, movie. I didn't give a shit. Like... There are tons of bad movies I've watched, even regardless of what they've mm-hmm. had. I've watched Baywatch this year. I've watched Transformers 5 this year. I've watched just a shit ton of garbage movies who are all plagued with problems and that, that people said were shit. Mm-hmm. Like, we watched Assassin's Creed. That, was, that movie sucked. That was Hardcore. Mm-hmm. 
Go see this movie. Go see this movie. Go see it. Eight out of ten. Yep. Fucking bullshit Rotten Tomatoes, I'm just assume is broken. And there's all kinds of evidence that it is. Yeah, there's a whole fucking thing. Maybe we'll get into it at some point. We'll we'll cover it next week. We just wanted to get to this topic and get it to you guys because it's a good movie. Go watch it. Anyways, thank you for joining us on these Talking Bull slash Reacts to Justice League uh, podcast. I'm Anthony. This is Nick. We will see you next week. See you. Goodbye.